And unfortunately, the roads in Uganda are claiming so many lives. And I'm pleading or begging our government of Uganda, let us improve on our road network. In fact, when you drive at night, trucks don't have lights. There's not even a sign of, to show this is, there's an asset on the road. So when a driver is driving, you cannot see what is ahead. And that's why we are getting this accident. A lot of these trucks in Uganda are the ones taking a lot of lives of people. It's not even speed. In some of these trucks which are driving without any lights, without any hazard, they are parked on the road, but there's no sign that the car is broken or a truck is broken. And as a driver, sometimes you can see there's a fog. When there is a fog, you cannot see what's ahead. And when there are no hazard lights, you will knock the, the truck. And that's what happened to the lead. When they were driving, this truck is coming, there was too much fog, and the accidents happen. Like that. But also, what I'm trying to say, that the government should put laws for these trucks that are just moving aimlessly. The, the, the truck drivers are just driving anyhow late. They don't even indicate when they are turning. They don't even show they are stopping. And it's taking a lot of lives. It is only, not only the left particle company who, who has faced this uh, kind of uh, fatal accident. Other people, even us, we shall face them. So I'm pleading with our government that let us put laws to govern these trucks which are driving without any lights. Eh? All they are doing is bribing, all the, they stop on the road bribing our po uh, traffic officers. I think there must be a law passed to stop these trucks, maybe even not to move at night, for the safety of the people of Uganda. Thank you very much. Honorable, there are traffic officers alongside these roads. Are they playing their role or there is some Yes. Me, I think also the traffic officers need to be empowered. They need to be empowered. Sometimes you find these traffic officers, uh, they don't have even help or support. I think also we need to empower them uh, by, by, I think we we'll, by, uh, I think by facilitating them with it, or even training to show that, you know, in some countries, if you go to the other countries, what traffic officers do, they are working to make sure if this truck has no light, it should not be allowed to move. If this truck has a worn tires or vehicles without without lights or which is not uh, not they call it not roadworthy. Tra traffic officers must stop those vehicles from moving. I think that's the best way we can stop this action because there are so many vehicles which are not roadworthy but they're driving on the road. I think also that's why we need to empower our traffic officers so they can take a quick action on this kind of vehicles that are moving on the road. Now, Honorable, what does this particular gesture mean to the legacy of both Papa and Mama? This function is to remember the great things, the good things that the late and my mother did in Serere. They built schools, they roofed schools, they roofed churches, they built churches, they helped the widow, they helped the orphans. We have 500 orphans from Serere who are in Mbale being fed, being taught for free, being dressed for free. So that's, that's the legacy we as the children of the late carrying on uh, here in Serere. And we, we, we are continuing with that legacy. We are not going to stop it. We are going to serve the people of Serere. We are going to support the people of Serere the same way the late supported, without limits. Thank you. Maybe I can share to us Christmas, your yes. last message. Me, this Christmas, I want to say, let us be very careful on the roads. Be very, very careful on the roads. Let's not speed. Also, if a truck driver is driving and knows his truck is faulty, please don't risk the lives of the poor people. Pack your truck aside. And also let us slow down, no speeding. And just let this be a, a time for us to be with our families, share with our families, be and marry with our families. And friends, if you're alone, try and invite other friends home to share with you this Merry Christmas. I want to wish the whole of Uganda a Merry Christmas. I want to wish our president, Yoweri uh, Kabota Museveni, and his family, 
a Merry Christmas, and my colleagues at Parliament, Merry Christmas, the future speaker, and also our uh, right honourable speaker, Anita Mong, and her whole family. Uh, uh, she's a Nalongo. I want to wish her the best for the Christmas that she's going to have with those Nalongos and uh, uh, with the twins, I mean. And I want to thank also the people of Serere. I want to thank them the best and I wish them a very, very Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. So what does this day mean to you? Uh, so this day is a very special day. Not, my name, first of all, my name is Daniel Okabe. I'm one of the sons of the late Honorable Okabe. Uh, we just want to thank the people who have come to this function today. We want to thank the people of Serere who have fully come to support Honorable Modine for this big event. This event is very special to our family because it just reminds us of what a great father and mother our parents what was. They are the ones who made us what we are today. We also want to thank this uh, event here that we have today. It's an event that we all come together to give thanks to Honorable Patrick Okabe and Mama. These people transformed many lives across the country. Many people know about the things these people did. So we just come here today to give thanks and to just give God the glory for what this family has done to the people of Uganda and Serera. Just like my brother said, the Honorable Modi, schools were built, a lot of uh, orphans are being taken care of in Mbale. We have a, a church in Mbale, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, outreach programs going on here in Serere. We have the Okabe Foundation. So all these uh, things that uh, Papa and Mama did over the years just made us come together to give thanks because they are the ones who made us what we are today and many people will appreciate to that. So we are very thankful for this day. We are thankful for all the people who have come here and uh, may God bless everyone who is here for this ceremony. Thank you.